Hello, hello everyone. This is a little bit unexpected. I am meant to be live on YouTube right now. Um, actually, I could go live and make a card here on Facebook and upload it to YouTube later. Oh my God, my stress levels have now gone. Um, I... I cannot, hello Miss Cindy, how are you? I cannot get YouTube to go live for me. I have tried two scheduled videos and I've tried just going live without scheduling and the world is conspiring against me. So let's go live here on Facebook and make my planned card and then I can just upload it to Facebook later. Um, I hope everyone is good. Happy Friday. A lot has happened since I last saw you on Wednesday here for my live. Um, just before I get any further, my name is Ella Woodbridge. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and I am not... Right, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. So if you live in Australia and need help with your paper crafting needs, as in buying um, any paper crafting supplies, I can help you. If you do not live in Australia, um, I cannot sell you Stampin' Up! products, but I do have some fantastic, I've got two so far, um, card tutorials and my latest card tutorial is on the Playing in the Rain stamp set. So they're three of the four cards that are in my video tutorial. So there are four card making videos and a... Hey Sandy, hello everyone who's joining. I am so disorganized this morning because I'm not meant to be live here. Um, I have a project sheet and I have um, the four videos um, for four cards for playing in the rain. So that is using the stamp set and the paper which we are going to be using today to make a card. It's actually Friday here in Australia, Cindy, and I'm going away for the weekend. So I have an appointment this afternoon and then I'm going away with my husband for the weekend which will be very, very nice. Um, we haven't gone away in 20 years together um, or really with our children um so it's a little luxury hello robin how are you i just need to get up my replay screen because as i've said i'm not meant to be here today i'm meant to be on youtube and i couldn't go live yesterday because i had an all-day meeting that i didn't expect to go all day um so i'm a bit discombobulated to tell you the truth and there has been some massive Stampin' Up! news. Sorry, I'm just getting everything up so I can see replay um, comments and all of that. Hello, Mr. Elliot. Are we still on for tomorrow? Um, because I do hope so. I haven't packed a thing to go away, but the suitcase is down from in the roof. So, hooray. Um, so, the last 24 hours in Stampin' Up! World. Hello, Shirley. How are you? I need to go back. So many of you have joined. Hello, Cindy, Sonia, Jen, Sandy, Robin. Ah, yes, 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 Cindy. I, you guys are always in the past and a day behind. <laughs> so, the past 24 hours in Stampin' Up! has been huge. So we had a colour refresh announced. So we have, our last colour refresh was five years ago and it resulted in about 15 colours um, cycling out and 15 colours coming in. Some of them were returning colours and some of them were brand new colours. And this annual catalog that is coming in May um, is going to have 11 new colors which means we say goodbye to 11 of our current colors and we have 
in colours that are retiring as well. Now, of the five in colours, we are saying goodbye to four. Fresh Freezer is staying. Yay! I'm very happy about that. Um, also, yesterday morning, the retirement lists were announced. Now, the retirement lists are available. I did put a link here on my Facebook page and on, in my newsletter last night. Um, and those discounts, which are up to 60%, go live on the 4th of April. So get your wish list ready. In the meantime, if there are any of the retiring ink pads that you want paper, re or accessories for, grab them before they sell out because they will sell out. And I will, while we are here, just check the inventory status report so I can tell you if anything has already sold out. And I need to get a message out to some people who were joining me elsewhere. Um, okay, because I do just have a couple of groups that I tell people what's going on and where I'll be at so they can join me. So let me go here for the inventory status report. And the only thing that the only thing that is currently not orderable is the fresh freezer ink refill, which is coming back into stock in a couple of weeks. And as we know, fresh free or as we know now, fresh freezer isn't going anywhere, so you can buy that ink refill freely and you can have that we have also had a shake up to our color families which is very interesting so some colors have gone back to their old color families some colors have gone into brand new color families and i've reordered my ink pads to the new color families and it actually it's interesting. So Blackberry Bliss, just for example, is now a neutral, which I totally get because we no longer have Mary Merlot. Um, what else changed over? Nothing really changed in the subtles except that Gorgeous Grape went over to be oh gorgeous grape was in the brights but it's now a regal which i find very interesting so please tell me um what you think of these things happening so i am going to see i'm not even able to change what i named this but do you know what i'm going to go ahead we are going to make at least a card with the playing in the rain and we're just going to go for it it's that kind of crazy day please tell me that someone else has had a crazy morning so far not just me because it is just almost 10 30 and i feel like it's the afternoon already Okay, so let's flip around and see what we can come up with and make. So how many of you have the Playing in the Rain products? Because I do have some good news that the Playing in the Rain stamp set and matching dies will be carrying over to the new catalogue. So the paper will be retiring. Um, but even the loose daisies, because as a demonstrator, I have already had a sneak peek at the new catalogue. I do already have the digital version, which is really, really fun. Okay, so I am going to turn off my light and we will get to play. I'm live on Facebook. Oh. Sorry, just informing my husband of the plans that have changed. Okay, so I have all these scraps from the Rain or Shine paper. Okay, and what I'm actually thinking of doing is doing a quick bit 
of hand cutting. Now, quick and hand cutting for me generally don't go hand in hand. But I love this piggy. This piggy reminds me of a girlfriend of mine who loves pigs. So, hello, Miss Kathy. You found me, Kathy. I am so happy because YouTube is just being rude today and i am not having a good hand day so but let's oops let's see tips for hand cutting move your paper more than what you move your scissors okay so we're already about halfway there this isn't too bad and i am keeping the puddles because they are super cute. I'm so sorry that you can hear my 18-year-old child crying like a baby. Apparently, David has told Lavender some very bad news, which I don't know what it is. Hello, Monica. I am so glad you have found me. Um, YouTube and I are not friends. I was unable to go live as planned, but we are here and I will just upload this this photo, oh my god, this video to YouTube later. Now, I must not cut off the piggy's cute tail. Okay. But these actually really aren't too hard and they don't actually have any dyes. So we have dyes for the turtle, the fox and the bunny, but we don't have dyes for the dog, the pig and what's the other character that's on there? There's one more. Please someone refresh my brain. So Mon, we have been talking about the retirement list, the colour refresh. It's been a big 24 hours. I hope you're feeling okay today, by the way, Mon. Ah, that's okay. I'm running late as well, so you are not the only one. I had this all planned for 10 o'clock on YouTube, so not here on Facebook, but that's okay. And if you hear some banging in the background, I do have some workmen in my backyard. They're doing something with the sewage. And they've um, taken out a panel of our fence because where they need to get to is right in the back corner of our yard where our shed is. So that's the plan. So, scraps. I do have some pre-cut animals in here so I was thinking I was just thinking I don't have any formulated thoughts as such I was just thinking that maybe we can use I just dropped something so I've got some clouds I've got the bunny I've got that can go over there I've got this strip. I'm not sure I really want to use this. I think I'm going to do a super duper simple card with this one. And then I may use the bunny and the turtle together. Maybe. We'll see how we go. Oh, that's fantastic. That is really, really good news, Monica. I'm so glad to hear that. Hopefully it was just a head cold. Okay, so let's grab um, a thick, basic white card base. I'm going to go, as I said, uber simple. I do have some card bases pre-scored and cut here. Now, I need to check, but, no, we're saying goodbye to Mint Macaron, not Balmy Blue. So, I do want to use 
my balmy blue mint macaron retiring so i'm just going to talk about these things during the video today balmy a uh, mint macaron retiring for me or it's not quite retired yes yeah it was a lot of a shock i was really surprised that that color was going i always found it a very sweet oh this is hmm, that's okay there's a bit of a blemish here but we'll keep using it um i i always loved the color and found it good to use maybe i didn't use it enough which is why they are retiring it um i also got a bit of a shock because i've already taken out all of my um stamp sets so i've reordered my stamp sets oh no i'm so sorry cindy youtube would not let me go live so i do apologize to you and Anne. that's why i left messages and then all of a sudden i went live on here on on facebook to update everyone and then i went oh my god i can go live here and just deal with the facebook side later so that's what i'm doing i've done a very quick pivot um i have everyone brace yourselves actually have a guessing game how many stamp sets do i have retiring so taking balmy blue taking our um blending brush and i'm just going to create a blue background so i'm going to go really light so i don't get any brush marks so this looks like nothing at the moment but i started really light to get some of the ink off without creating brush marks all these tuck shop lady arms are flying as I do this. Oh, thank you so much, Cindy. You're the best. I did, I thought, leave a message that I wasn't able to go live and that YouTube's just being evil today. But I apologise if that message did not get through. I was a titch flustered, but that's okay. So just creating a bit of a background, I've got a little bit of this here, thinking we won't use the flowers, but what I wouldn't mind doing is just adding some rain because we've got the stamp here. Hey, hey, Ruth. I'm so glad, Ruth, you could go live on YouTube today because I was unable to. And Ruth, we are playing the guessing game of how many and you may be able to have quite an educated guess here how many of ellen's um stamp sets are retiring i don't know what your number is because unfortunately i missed your live on youtube earlier so how many stamp sets of yours are retiring ruth and how many of mine are so i'm just adding some rain clouds here and i haven't done this style this very simple style of card so we are stamping in exactly the same ink as what we have created this focal point so we're using the balmy blue and i am just going to i think that's enough or maybe I just need one more here because it doesn't actually have to be full on raindrops we just need a couple 15 no half no not 60 I don't even own 60 current stamp sets Ruth okay more than half of my collection has gone three quarters of my collection hello lisa how are you hi myrtle um yes i was quite shocked because as i said a little earlier we were able to get a sneak peek of the catalog 
and I just went, oh, that's carrying over, that's carrying over. Oh, quite a lot is carrying over. No. Okay, there is a two in the number, Cindy. I oh, know, it's so sad. I did that yesterday morning before I went to the meeting that held me there all day. Um, so, yes. I'm thinking if I just add this here this might be this quick and simple card done 25 no Ruth higher okay I am going to going to bring out my Stamparatus and sadly our Stamparatus is retiring but I will not be finishing up using my stamp products because I find it a fantastic tool for me um, no lower it does have a two but you're close Glenda very very close so I'm going to do this this way and I am going to do a little test oh, no I want this this way so I'm working out which way I want the plate going so then I get a beautiful image without moving my placement too much no that's not gonna work <laughs> that's okay I do want it this way and then I will work it out from there and I actually want this plate coming down here right now that I've all kerfuffled myself and everyone I'm going to try this Let's get it roughly straight and then I'm going to test it on our grid paper so this is how I do it when I'm not stamping on to a piece that I will punch or die cut out. Oh, I do have two stamp artists, Cindy, and I do have an extra set of plates. So I think I'm pretty good. And um, on the weekend at the team meeting that I had making my tutorial cards, um no that is not straight i did have two stamp artists going around hello maureen thank you for finding me um i did have two stamp artists is it stamp artists stamp artists or is it stamp artai this was something we did talk about at the team meeting and the english teacher okay so i need the u to come down so let's that looks a little better so I just rotate my paper um, yeah we were we have some weird conversations at our team meeting and what to call multiple stamp writer stamp to what to call a multiple stamp writers is one of them hey miss d how are you no nope, still need to pop this so let's see i'm just going to stamp it again without inking and i don't think that moved okay turn it around again i've got eight times that I can do this are you sad I Corinne I cannot tell you the last time I used Pacific Point so whilst it's a beautiful blue I think I'm just gonna go for it because okay I've got one more on this side where I would like to get it. But yeah, I just didn't use Pacific Point that much. It wasn't a go-to colour for me, really. 
I love this grid paper. It's the best. Okay, that is the closest that we've got. I am going to stick with the old olive because this is the colour that is in our pig's clothing. Okay, I definitely need to do that again just to get a really nice, bold impression. And I try not to push down with the words too much so we don't distort the font. Um, you can really distort the letters by pushing down too much. So I prefer to, to, to stamp it twice and have two lighter layers of ink that create this beautiful, um, bold image rather than having um having a distorted one yes kathy i do agree i am sad about mango melody as well and unfortunately it really wasn't replaced with anything that is comparable because it was the perfect yellow orange um, and I have always had an affinity with that colour. So, yes, I do agree with you. But the new colours coming in are beautiful. They are very, very on trend. And they are definitely going to be very usable. Ah, do you, Corinne? Um, I think, I think there's, there's a lot... Um, going on in the greater stamping up world that impacts the stamparatus than just sales. Um, so I think possibly the, the sale of the stamparatus may have been taken out of Stampin' Up's hands, um, but that is just me hypothesising. I will still use it, um, just unfortunately I won't be able to um, on sell it to as, as new and I won't sell mine, but I won't be able to on sell it to anyone. So I've got my clouds here and we're just going to pop those on dimensionals as well. Now Jodie isn't here, but will we need dimensionals and if so... I'm thinking possibly the, I can't even think of what they're called. Um, I'm thinking possibly some clear, elegant, faceted gems. These have been around for a couple of years and they're leaving. So, oh yes, the pecan pie. Yes, that is a lovely, lovely one. Um, I haven't had chance to look through the catalogue a whole lot um, but they are beautiful colours I like we've got some um, some strong neutrals and a nice change up to the neutrals I know soft suede is going and it's a colour I do use um, often because it did have a nice golden hue um, to it but I'm happy with what is coming in Hello, Mr. Bobby. How are you? You found me as well. Thank you. Had a bit of a morning. Okay, so there is our piggy. So we've got the tie-in with our old olive here, which is one of the original. It is a very long-standing colour and it stayed around. Yeah, it's nice to have Ruth because I'm going on early because I have an appointment later and I was meant to be live yesterday. It's all kind of happening in my world, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to going away after my appointment this afternoon. We'll drive about an hour and a half and have a lovely weekend away. So that's the plan. Okay, what colour do we have on this sheet? 
because I've gone through many, many packs of the Elegant Faceted Gems. And how many of you have had the chance to check out my... Oh, we've got three clear ones left here. Maybe I just used three. I'm very tempted to possibly add more rain. Okay. I think I'm happy now with the rain. Just that one spot there was annoying me. And I love that you can really directly see how dark it stamps and then how much lighter it dries. And I'm doing totally polar opposite to you. Um, no, they are more purple. They are not a Stampin' Up! colour, Ruth, but they do pretty much and the opal rounds are going as well but the top coat on them with the glitter is very reminiscent to our opal rounds which i'm sad about i'm sad about a couple of things but i'm just gonna be sad for a moment and acknowledge that i loved those products and it's okay that they're going and we're getting some amazing new things coming so put a big one there just so then I've got my nice triangle. I don't know where I want to put my other ones. It's always a problem. Because I just love this how it is. Maybe I just put a cluster just here and I leave this card as it's it's been a really long time since I've completed a card this simple so a little bit of um, blending brush one two stamps and two pieces cut out of our rain or shine paper Yes, exactly. We're allowed to be sad. Oh, yes. I, yeah, Bubble Bath, I think, is a bit of a chameleon of a colour because I had a team retreat on the weekend and I got a sneak peek of a couple of things and Bubble Bath was one of them and it was explained to us that Bubble Bath has a violent undertone so it'll be interesting because I know a lot of us have been wishing and hoping for a clean pink but I don't even know to replace blushing bride which is this blushing bride no this is petal pink um but yeah they've got that undertone that isn't clean They've definitely got a warm undertone and we want a clean, cool one. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Now, I'm loving the bunny because of Easter. Now, I don't make Easter cards, but bunnies are inherent when it comes to Easter. So I have made lots of white bunnies with pink accents. So I'm thinking of doing something a bit different today and going grey granite for my bunny. So just doing a quick colour of the grey granite and some flirty flamingo accents, which I think... I will go in and do first. So I definitely want some pink inside of the ears. And I'm just using the bullet tip of my dark flirty flamingo. And I do want a dark bottom to the nose. And I'm going to leave the flirty flamingo there and then I'm going to come in with the brush end of my light and I'm dabbing on it's a bit hard to do long strokes in such a small area right so we have that and 
I will add the pink cheeks later. So bringing in my dark gray. So sorry, just got a phone call. I will come back. Yes, I'm still going. Hello, Miss Jamie Ramsey. How are you? Oh, no, it hasn't. I'm still live. Sorry, my, com my replay is playing funny buggers with me. There we go. Hello, Joanna. How are you? Getting a different crew on a Friday. I don't mind this at all. Just to be different. Now, what colour should I do the bunny's raincoat? What do you think? Now, thinking some dark down here and under here. Down the side of the face. We're going to be dark here where this comes over. And let's go in with some light. And then if I need extra dark, I can go over. Well, it is. It's only Friday here. Well, it's Friday here. A uh, red and yellow. Okay, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Oh, I don't want the bullet end. I want the brush end. So nearly 11 and I don't, Hello. yeah, did you call me da? Oh. So I'm just going over, the good thing is this smooths out so despite my haphazard um, colouring because my hands are what they are today these will smooth out beautifully so we've already got that shading sitting there and I can just come in and blend that again again here just get that tiny spot just there that's white have a good wash, Miss Louisa. She's leaving us, getting a wash and a groom, so she's beautiful for the weekend. Okay, I'm actually really, really happy with that. Mm, I do kind of want to add the pink cheeks because then they will balance the ears and the nose. So I can just go over what I've already done so just like that and just like that and I can even take the color lifter and I'll show you on the back here just what happens so this is called the color lifter but what it actually does it pushes the ink deeper into the paper so if you have a look at the cheeks you can see the bloom of the gray granite which i push through first and then you can see the pink which i push through second and we've got that there which is gorgeous now let me get rid of that so red or yellow so i've done lots of yellows so glenda i think hello alice how are you i think i'm going to go red and let's go poppy parade poppy parade is also carrying over and it was a surprise for me that poppy parade carried over i don't use it often because it does have quite a yellow or an it's an orange undertone to with poppy parade i think i'm going to use my bullet end so just go in here because the face is going to give a 
a little bit of shadow there and the crease there the buttons and I am going to go down each side the bottom of the arm which turned into the whole arm I wish my hands would play today but because they're the blends we are going to still get a beautiful result that's why I love them because they are quite forgiving to me especially even if I don't do it perfectly I still come out with a beautiful result okay so let's so I just kind of do an overall to start off with and that tells me or well, that shows me how much that dark is going to blend and then I can go back in on these edges and add in another layer so I do go in circles I have gone a little out of the lines on this and I'm not even going to try and fix them they are just going to stay as they are because red is way too hard to get rid of but I think that looks really nice but I would like to go in now that it's saturated and just add in some of that shadow again and this will kind of self blend because this is so saturated with the ink well that bit didn't need to be there but that squiggle is going to stay so I'll bring this up as a close-up for you guys to have a look at his little face is so cute so you can see even with my hands not playing today I got a beautiful result so let's choose some paper to play along with this actually this is mango melody so I'm going to have to use it before it goes so we could possibly do something like that tell me if you don't like it I'm just hypothesizing out loud just gonna pop my blends over oh I have a basket so I can pop them in there so I can take a photo later oh, and we're not using mr. turtle today and that's okay so papers 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 just popping him up there for the moment moving the card I've actually made out of the way ah I thought you might be close to each other Cindy um we did use our raindrops last time oh now I could use that sheet where we're frolicking this is so that is our rain that is our storm now let me now those colors kind of go nicely together because I've used the gray granite and that's the piece that I took our um, our pig from don't know that I have any more scraps of this but I don't mind using it oh I'm so glad oh close by you found a new crafty friend Cindy that's awesome we love it when you guys can come on here and connect Oh, I think I grabbed two sheets, but that's okay. And I do have some clouds that we can use. So I'm not sure about this piece now, but I do 
I'm loving this piece and I might as well use the paper while we've got it because as of the 4th this paper goes on the retirement list and it is available while stocks last and I just love going to go nine so I'm going I'm creating a little scene I am just keeping an eye on the time as well because I have to pack and I have to deal with washing and all the things that come before you go away <laughs> So, I'm liking this. Are we liking this? So, please say flowers or no flowers. Because it's just something I played with before. And the flowers are actually um, already flirty flamingo. Uh, where's my other basket? My other basket did have some clouds. Ooh, we even have... Okay, I don't think the bridge is going to work. I do have some clouds and I could put some grey in that one just to make it look a bit more like a rain cloud. I'm not sure about the kite though. So. Oh, Alice, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you're getting it sorted. Um, possibly a blue umbrella because so we've, we've got one here in the paper that we um, this is the paper that we cut it, uh, punched out on Wednesday's no on Tuesday's video had to think of the days of the week you like the kite Alice okay so we'll keep the kite so that means we don't need the umbrella because either kite or umbrella. And what about the flowers? No flowers, Glenda. Okay. So what are we going to put him on? This is the thing. He's kind of standing in the air unless I just go in with this marker and clouds or no clouds clouds so is this the light no that's the dark i'll start with the light and just give him a bit of ground actually we're also upside down because the raindrops were falling the wrong way so that's not fun with clouds i don't know cindy and it is now carrying over so it is one that's going to be around and you can love and enjoy so i'm just doing that and i'm going to soften this ground with our color lifter again that i just dropped so and i just found a cloud and flowers and lots of things on the ground Apparently, I'm playing dropsies. Okay, so colour lifter. And I'm just going to go all the way over this and just get that to go into the paper. Now, we could add... Ah, uh, yes, exactly, Alice. Oh, I could, Kathy. I still could do that, actually. So I've got the flowers as well. And let me grab the dice. 
Okay. So the tree trunk's over here, and the tree trunk was very mischievous on my last oh <clears throat> on my last video. It was hiding my tuft that I thought I had lost. Okay. Now I'm just going to go for a random brown. I'm going to see what has a little scrap. And do you know what? I am going to go for soft soft suede because I have so many scraps. And as I said earlier, this is a colour that is retiring. So if you love it, grab all the things that you require in your stash before it goes. Okay. Get my plates. And look, if this doesn't work, that's okay. We've tried it all the same. Now, that die. Where did the die go, guys? Oh, oh, well, I wish you good news for that appointment. Okay, I don't know how I just lost the die on the stamp case. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eagle Eyes. Okay, so I've got this here. Pop this in and through. I do like the idea of popping on here. Now, do we want to colour these flowers and add them as well? Now, I'm going to pop that in my magnetic bowl so I don't lose it. Extra eyes, absolutely. Besides the fact I'm not already wearing glasses or anything. Now, I'm liking this. This works, but this needs some extra something, something. It needs a blending brush. It's just looking very new and flat. And it's not looking tree-ish. As we would like so I'm just going to see if there is any ink sitting in this there isn't so I'm going to have to grab my soft suede ink yeah ah, Alice yes April showers bring May flower well that works for you because we're currently in autumn. It is a northern hemisphere kind of saying, but I like it. So are we just going to go for straight daisies? So I just do the insides and the green of the leaves. Because if so, I will do this right now. So, Dark Daffodil Delight. And so Saffron's going. I know Bobby is a bit sad about So Saffron, but the new yellow coming, he is quite enamoured with. He's always loved So Saffron. So, oops, that's apparently Yellow Daisy. And Old Olive. Old Olive. I don't know why, but I am just going old olive and I'm using bullet ends because we've got such small areas. And do you know what? I don't even think I'm going to go for a two color blend here. I'm just going to go in 
with the same color again and just make the bottom of these two-toned with the light okay now because these now it doesn't uh, I'm going to have to add more gray granite because we're adding more more is more is more not always but today it is and then add a little bit more light to make that go into the paper take these away again okay right so these are going to sit flat i am i hope everyone i haven't shared the new colors yet i kind of ran out of hours in the day and i felt like i was bombarding everyone yesterday with information so i personally haven't shared them yet so if any of you have seen them please tell me what you'll think or please tell me what you think oh my dear word i cannot speak and i don't know that this card will actually require a sentiment so i want these little ones to be on the shadow now this one's going to need dimensionals the bunny so on there one here and then i'm going to grab some minis yes exactly mon we can be sad for a little bit and then embrace the new ones because they're there and they're beautiful and we will forget about the other colors soon enough and i do need to go because we do have some returning colors my shirt is pretty much berry burst not my nails um but my shirt is i'll show you my shirt is pretty much berry burst in linen form so although it looks more red on the screen but it um trust me it is more berry burst so i need to go into my shed shop and what i mean by my shed shop is my shed is where all my retired stuff is so i just need to go in there have a bit of a shop and see what returning colors i can find so we're going to put our bunny down and then we are going to make a decision about the kite uh, because this is getting a little busy just a little bit but that's okay because we're using this is a centimeter and a half smaller we it doesn't matter like now if this bunny breaks no actually it's not but that's okay okay so he is on i don't know why he's a he but apparently he is so i can put the kite there and i'll pop it in under then I can always put the clouds up quite high and breaking the boundary of yeah because I kind of like the kite breaking the edge now that does have a word but and I learned it the other day and now I've forgotten it okay so what are we thinking of that oh nice oh yeah rude work is so rude jamie i'll see you later see you later love mm. 
Okay, so cute. We're loving this. I'm actually liking the white cloud now because it, we've got a lot of whiter aspects on the card. And then this one looks like a little storm cloud, the vellum one, because it's peeking through. Okay, so I do need a glue dot to just hide or to adhere our so glue dot glue dot thank you why why do i have to get cross with my children and my craft supplies to get them to do what i want like seriously okay do, 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 do. oh dropped it okay so that one is going to go right there and then this one is going to go which way under or kind of like that i like that on dimensionals so and then we just i'm not doing too bad i'm right on an hour probably from the time i started still not packed a thing because i'm here with you guys but hey we'll get there oh thank you delinda there are so many new critters in the annual catalog just saying the brand new annual catalog there are lots of critters including these ones yeah i normally don't create scenes but when you've got critters you kind of do have to create a, a scene oh hang on kite kite my friend you need to go down and i did just find a third cloud so you never know it may end up by itself but we've got the third element in the sky as a cloud and if i add anything else it might just be too much yes it will be way too much if i add anything else right that cloud can go back there everyone safely taken love yes. awesome what's wrong oh okay love just had a very odd look on her face okay so i want to join all my white elements together with a thick basic white card base again and then i'm just going to see from putting this on the white card base what matte i would like to put this on whether i want to go with basic gray or whether i want to go with balmy blue they are my two options in my head hmm, that one's got just a bit of a there we go wouldn't even know the edge was a bit bodgy there oh and there you go you can see that's all come through i'm thinking a little bit of balmy blue might just make this lift because it's looking quite dark, but we've got the hints of spring there. So, balmy blue. Come on, my dear friend. Okay, I have a piece. Well, and there's balmy blue on the floor. This room has to be clean by the time I leave. Stampin' Up! products are the best, Alice. I definitely, definitely agree with you there. I've got bubbles. So I'm going to be taking some retired kits away with me this weekend to see if if I get if I need some craftiness while I'm away, I can uh, definitely call on those kits to give me a little bit of time. Lift that up. Pop it back down in a more ideal place. 
and then I will kind of trim from there okay just a little mat nothing crazy a very little mat Okay, let's try that again. Whoops. I totally, I did warn you all a while ago that my, rotate my phone, right. Hello, Miss Kylie, how are you? Okay. I think we're 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 in a spot where you can see what I'm doing. Let's just say that. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. Oops indeed, Kathy. Oops indeed. Right. I'm getting a bit a bit flowery with my hands. Whoops. Now, would you guys next week like me to do a video um, going through what of mine is retiring? Or are you happy just to look at the list yourself? Because I can definitely do an extra video if you'd like. Okay. Oh, I cut that bottom too close, but that's fine. It's all good. It's still a made card. Oh, see you, Alice. Yes, you cannot have a grandson getting hungry. Definitely, definitely not what we want in the world. Okay, pop some glue on here. And we are going to pop this down. I don't think we need any embellishment unless someone is going to say something else it's looking pretty good we've got the shine in the background which I hope to show you now we've got the raindrop and the rain shine in the background so we've had a good play with some blends made two scenes one with designer series paper well both with designer series paper in two different ways so oh i will have a great weekend corinne so we kept it pretty simple and we kept it to our suite of products so we used the plane in the rain and i will now add back my tree trunk so it doesn't get lost so the tree trunk is there. So the playing in the rain bundle. And I used uh, some scraps and some pieces of paper from the rain or shine designer specialty designer series paper. So these two are carrying over in the new annual catalogue. But the paper is not so if you want to be able to coordinate those two together i do suggest grabbing the paper and i did use the elegant faceted gems on this one and a little bit of hand cutting oh i it will be restful and it will be relaxing thank you so much delinda thank you so much for finding me when i wasn't live on youtube today thank you my youtube people and my replay people for watching i truly truly appreciate it and i will catch you next 
Tuesday. Now, I just want to see, did anyone want me to go through my retired stuff? Leave that comment um, as I leave. Oh, me too, Kathy. I'm sorry that YouTube was being painful because it wasn't fair. We, I was planning, and I was planning, I don't know if these two cards would have happened earlier, but they're happening now. So thank you, thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.